welcome back to Vlogoween and happy Halloween. So when this video goes up, it will be Halloween 2023. So happy Halloween, everyone. I hope you guys have had an amazing day so far. So I am pre-filming this video because tomorrow is my first day of my new job and I can just already tell I'm not going to get time to film this actual video like at all over the next couple of days. So I am pre-filming this video in advance on Sunday. So it is Sunday today as I am filming this and I thought I would just get this done and out of the way and do my Draco Malfoy costume that I've been wanting to do for so long now and so I thought this time would be the perfect time to do it because I'm home alone and yeah I just thought it would be perfect to get it done and out of the way so um yes you heard right today I'm doing my Draco Malfoy costume and I'm so excited although it's kind of funny because I'm wearing my Barbie shirt today and I said that I was going to be Barbie this year I mean I guess I already was Barbie this year but I like to have options with my costumes, you guys, so I'm also going to be Draco Malfoy, a female version of Draco Malfoy today, so I have all the things that I need to be Draco Malfoy, so I'm going to show them to you right now. Some of you may have already seen these in my daily vlogs, but I'll show them to you again um, in case you haven't. So, of course, I have a robe. I have a Slytherin robe, which is kind of like the key part of this costume so i got this on amazon and it is a kid's robe <laughs> um but it fits me like perfectly and it is the right size as well because i'm so short like i just knew that the adult ones would be like really long on me so that's why i go with the kids ones so yeah here we go we've got slytherin robe and yeah so this is obviously like i said the main part of the costume i guess and then um, I'm not going to be doing anything like for like my bottoms. I'm just going to be like keeping my bike shorts on for now because there's really no point. I was going to wear like a skirt that I have but it's locked away in my storage and I can't be bothered to like go and get it. So I'm just going to wear my bike shorts that I currently have on now because there's like I said really no point. But I have a different shirt option for like a school shirt type look. So I have this button up shirt. It is silk, so <laughs> um, it's not exactly like a Hogwarts shirt because it is kind of like a silky looking shirt. So I have this shirt from Shein, this button up, um, and I used it for my, oh, the sun is coming out. Can you see that? <laughs> it kind of like changed color for a bit because the sun just came out. I have this shirt from when I did my Sharpay Evans costume so this is what that is from and I thought it would be perfect to wear as like a school shirt so that is what I'm gonna do and yeah I think it is perfect because it's nice and plain I was gonna wear one of my old high school shirts but <laughs> um it has like my high school logo on it like my old high school logo on it and it just kind of ruins the vibe so I thought this one would be perfect since it's nice and plain and it's kind of like a similar style to a school shirt so yeah that's why I decided to go with this one um and then accessories wise I've got a headband as you can see so I have a Slytherin headband that I also got on Amazon and then I also have some earrings some Slytherin earrings that I recently got from the store of requirement so maybe I might wear those because it is the Slytherin crest so maybe I might wear those as well um, and then for the hair, of course I have a wig. I haven't worn this wig yet, I don't think. <laughs> I was going to use it for a Sabrina Spellman costume, but then I never ended up wearing it. But I think it is the perfect wig for a Draco Malfoy costume. For like a female version of Draco Malfoy. Because look at the colour of the blonde. Like, is that not like Draco Malfoy colour. So, and it's also a lace front wig as well. Um, so I've never really like worked with these before, but I have got it like cut, like on the edge, as you can see. Um, so hopefully it'll work out. I think what will make it look realistic is me having the headband on. So hopefully that will kind of like help hide the fact that it is a wig and it will kind of hide the 
the parting here as well so hopefully that will help i do need to brush it out as you can see but i just thought this was perfect for a female version of draco malfoy so yeah that's why i decided to go with this one and it's nice and short as well it's not too long i thought that one would be perfect for this costume so yeah i think that is everything makeup wise i think i'm just gonna obviously use the Slytherin palette from the Shein Hogwarts palette, which is this one here. And I'm gonna use these colors. So that is what I'm going to use. I might have to get like a different shade of green as a base so I can put the, I was gonna say sequins, <laughs> the sparkle green on top of it, but Overall, I'm just going to be using this palette for a makeup look and then we'll be pretty good to go, I think. So the only thing I don't have is a tie. I do not have a tie and I'm so bummed because I didn't get one when I was buying my robe and um, headband from Amazon because it said they would arrive like after Halloween and so yeah, that's just like no point in getting them then so <laughs> I was so annoyed that it said it's gonna arrive like November 1st or something like that yeah it's just so annoying that it was like that way you know but I thought I would get one at the store of requirement when I went but I couldn't see any um Slytherin like ties when I went there and so that's the only thing I don't have is a tie but I guess it doesn't really matter because my robe will be kind of you know like covering most of the shirt anyway so it doesn't really matter but oh of course one more thing that you cannot forget to be Draco Malfoy is a wand and this is Draco Malfoy's wand so it is one of the pr legit proper ones that I got from the Harry Potter studio tour when I went so um I thought this was like perfect for this costume obviously and I got this wand just like mainly because of this costume so I could be Draco Malfoy basically and it is like a legit one it's not a cheap plastic one and it is just perfect so yeah it is a exact replica of Draco's wand and I love it it's quite heavy as well like it's quite like hefty it's got a bit of weight to it so yeah of course you cannot be <laughs> Draco Malfoy without his wand so yeah there we go. I think that is everything now. I just like totally remembered that I had the wand as well. Of course, I will be using that in my photos and stuff like that. So yeah, um, I guess let's get started. I think I'm just going to do like a time lapse situation so you guys don't have to listen to me ramble on. <laughs> so I think that is what I'm going to do. And um, yeah, I'll set you somewhere up on my desk and just get started, I guess. So yeah, I'm really excited. Hopefully this look will turn out okay. And yeah, I'm just, oh, I'm so excited to finally be doing this. Like I've been wanting to do this cosplay for a really long time now and I'm so excited it's finally like happening. So, and I'm excited that I get to share it with you guys as well. There we go. I am <laughs> super excited to get ready. So let's get started.
makeup is done as you can see so the only different things I did with this makeup was I only lightly put stuff in my eyebrows and I used the lighter shade instead of the darker shade because obviously it would look weird if I had really dark eyebrows with that wig so yeah I only lightly did my eyebrows and then I didn't put any bronzer on because Obviously Draco is quite pale himself so I didn't put any bronzer on but I did put a little bit of blush on and that was it. So I didn't put any bronzer on because yeah Draco is kind of pale so <laughs> I kind of wanted to like just I don't know totally like what's the word I'm looking for here? Replicate that's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> Replicate you know Draco as a male into like a female version of him so that is what I thought would be a good idea. I just put my wig cap on as you can see. I've also like kind of taped it down well not taped it down but I've stuck some bobby pins in it so it can kind of like stay you know so hopefully this works. I don't know if it's going to but <laughs> um, I've also done some bobby pins at the back as well but yeah normally I don't film this part of the video normally I like leave a reveal to the end but I just thought let's do something different you know so I'm going to show you guys what I do when I transform into someone I guess <laughs> when I like complete my cosplay oh and I also haven't even put um, mascara on yet because I want to do that after I put the wig on so, this wig also has little, like, grippy things here, so that's good. Also, please don't mind that you can see my Blackcraft Cult bra that I'm wearing. Obviously, that's going to be covered when I put the, uh, when I put the robe on, so please don't mind that. I just can't be bothered changing it. Okay, so let's get this on. Where are the little clippy things? I also need to, there's a little, like clip here at the back to kind of like secure it but I can't find a thing to secure it on. I think I've got it. Obviously it's gonna look a lot better hopefully <laughs> once I like brush it out and stuff and uh, once the headband goes on as well hopefully that will make it look a little bit more lifelike. Okay I think I got it. Yes, I got it. All right. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at that. That is so funny. So, let me see here. Where's my paintbrush? I'm just going to brush it out a little bit. I also don't know what lipstick I'm going to wear. I was going to wear a black lipstick, but I think I'm just going to wear a lip gloss from the, from the Harry Potter Shein collection. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay, just trying to get rid of these little like bits of my hair so you can't see it. Alright, let's put this on and hopefully it will make it look a bit more realistic. Oh yeah, that's like heaps better. Makes it look a little bit more... Have I got it too far back or should I put it right there maybe? Oh yeah, that's a little bit better. It's just like this front bit here, like I know it's a lace front but I think I like cut it wrong when I cut it ages ago so I think that's why it looks a little bit strange but hopefully the headband will do its job and I can kind of like, I don't know, <laughs> I can kind of like edit it out maybe in the photos but yeah, at least the headband is kind of like doing something I hope. Let me just like brush this out. Hopefully it will all look like better when everything's put together, you know, like when the whole outfit's put together. Okay, so I mean from far away it doesn't look too bad, but up close you can definitely tell that it's a wig, but I oh will. At least the headband is kind of like covering the middle part, you know, so that's kind of good. Okay, so I think that's the best that I can get it. It is also very secure. I'm still trying to like get rid of these little bits of my hair here. You can kind of see. But yeah, I think that's the best it can go. Alright, so I probably should have done this before I put the wig on, but I'm going to take the earrings out. 
put my earrings in. I mean, I ain't even gonna really get to see the earrings. Is there any point because of the wig? Uh, I guess we'll just do it. Let's just do it. Oh my god. <laughs> Where is? There it is. I kept, kept on missing the ear hole. Put that one in. Let's get this one in. Okay. Now earrings are in. And then, what else do I have left? I've just got the robe, I think. And then I think I'm good to go. Oh, I also need to do my mascara as well and my lips and then I think I'm pretty good to go I was gonna put this on this is a dark mark tattoo which obviously like by the end of the movies like in the sixth one Draco becomes a death eater I was gonna put this on but I'm scared that it's not gonna come off and I have my first day of my new job tomorrow so I don't really want that to happen yeah I mean it would look really cool if I had it on like on right here I guess I could always say that I went to like a Halloween party, you know, but I am just scared that it's not going to come off. And yeah, like I said, it's the first day of my new job tomorrow and I don't want to be walking around with the <laughs> dark mark tattoo. So yeah, maybe I might save that for another time because obviously this is just like a one use thing. Yeah, I think I'm just going to save that for later. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think I'm all pretty much good to go. I just need to do lips. What lipstick should I use or lip gloss should I use? You know what? I think we should go with this one. We should go with the green. The Polyjuice Potion. Because we are Draco Malfoy and, you know, Slytherin, you know? So, yeah, I think that is the plan. So, hopefully everything will look a lot better once the robe is on because <laughs> right now I don't know I'm not really seeing the vision right now but hopefully it'll look better once I've got everything all together you know so I think it would look even better if I had a tie but I do not have a tie a Slytherin tie I've got a Gryffindor one but not a Slytherin one that is really annoying but like I said hopefully the robe will make it all look a lot better so yeah I'm gonna go and get that on and then also do my mascara and my lips and we will be right back all right you guys are you ready for the final reveal of my female version of Draco Malfoy oh look I've got my wand ready one's at the ready <laughs> all right so three two one here we are <laughs> so here I am as Draco Malfoy I mean, I think it looks okay. It's not my most favorite cosplay that I've ever done. I think it would look a lot better if I had a tie. I think that's why I think it doesn't look that great is because I have no tie. But that was my bad because I couldn't get one. But, I mean, I guess I could have maybe gotten one from, like, Spotlight maybe? Because I got my Gryffindor one from Spotlight a couple of years ago. But... I don't know, I just couldn't really see any. I don't know, I can't remember if they had any or not, but I mean, they probably did, but I just wasn't like looking properly. But yeah, here we go. Here is my female version of Draco Malfoy. I think obviously it looks so much better with the robe on, because um, then you're getting like the vibe that you are meant to be Draco Malfoy or that I am meant to be Draco Malfoy. <laughs> and then the wand. I've got the wand which is just perfect because it is literally his wand and it's like a legit one too from the studio tour so that makes it look a lot better as well because if it was one of those cheap plastic ones it just wouldn't look as good. But I think it looks okay. I think it's maybe the wig as well. Like the front of the wig just doesn't look amazing. I mean from afar like I said before from afar it looks good but up close see yeah that looks not too bad from afar but from up close it just I don't know <laughs> it looks okay I mean I did the best that I can or the best that I could and yeah I mean it would also look better I think if I had the dark mark tattoo but like I said I just do not want to risk it of not like coming off because it is my first day of my new job tomorrow and so I would not want to have that on my arm tomorrow. I think it would look a whole lot better if I had that but I guess I could be Draco before he became a Death Eater. You know, Draco at school is like what I am I guess. Like Draco at Hogwarts basically. So yeah, there we go. I am 
Draco Malfoy and I think it's okay. It's not that bad but it could be better I think. I don't know I think it's just the wig maybe that is like putting me off you know but from afar like I said it doesn't look too bad from afar. Maybe because this is pretty easy I feel like this is super easier than my Barbie costume so maybe this is what I will be on actual Halloween um, because this is just so much easier to put together than my Barbie one so I think that's what I might end up doing if I'm not too tired <laughs> by the end of the day because I will have already worked two full days by the end of the day like on Halloween because I'm working on Halloween as well so I'm probably going to be way too tired to dress up but if I'm not then this is what I will probably be is this Draco Malfoy costume because yeah it just is a lot easier to put together than my Barbie one. Um, yeah and it's also a lot more comfortable than my Barbie costume as well because that dress isn't like super stretchy. Um, it is like a little bit like tight so this is way more comfortable and I don't have to worry about changing my pants. I can just wear my little bike shorts because <laughs> my robe is covering them you know. So yeah I think if I do end up dressing up for Halloween this is what I will be is Draco Malfoy so yeah there we go I did it and <laughs> it turned out all right I feel like it could have turned out a lot better but let me know in the comments what you guys think of this costume do you like it to uh, the Barbie one or do you prefer the Barbie one let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite so I don't know I do like this one but I don't know I feel like I could have like done better with it but I don't know, we'll see. Um, I'm gonna like put the camera down as well so you can kind of see the rest of the costume. So there we go. There's the rest of it with the robe. See, I think the robe puts the look together because if you aren't wearing the robe, it's just like a random costume. But <laughs> if you are wearing the robe, you can tell that you're meant to be Draco Malfoy. There we go. I think the robe puts the whole look together and it just makes it look a lot better as well. Anyway, so that is it for this video and that is it for Vlogoween this year. I hope that you guys liked it. I know it was a little bit shorter and different than normal but that's because obviously I went to Europe in August and also the whole of September I was gone as well but I think I did pretty good considering that I was in Europe for five weeks. I did pretty good with the uploads and yeah I'm really happy with how everything turned out and I got to do it more properly this month and just obviously still do Vlogtober as well and so I hope you guys liked Vlogtober even though it wasn't like the most exciting <laughs> daily vlogs but I still just wanted to do it and because I feel like it's kind of like a tradition now on my channel that I have to do Vlogtober so yeah I hope that you guys enjoyed Vlogoween slash Vlogtober for this year and I hope you guys had a good October and a good Halloween. Let me know in the comments below what are you being for Halloween this year and um, what are your plans as well. I know it's kind of like a dud day, like a Tuesday. Obviously I'll be working <laughs> all day um, but yeah unfortunately it is on a Tuesday this year so it's always a bummer when it's like during the middle of the week so it kind of sucks but we can't do anything about that so <laughs> um yeah it's just a bit annoying yeah let me know what you are doing for halloween this year and what you are being and um yeah so there we go there is my second halloween costume for 2023 a female version of draco malfoy hope that you guys liked it and um yeah so i think that is it for Vlogoween this year. So the next videos from me you will be seeing is my Europe trip. I'm so excited for you guys to see these videos. So the first video will be up on the 4th of November I think. So the first London vlog will be up on the 4th of November and yeah I will be uploading them every like second day I think or every few days there'll be a new vlog so we'll start with the London vlogs and then Paris and then just one Rome vlog because that's all that I vlogged throughout the whole trip. Get ready for those vlogs in November and yeah I guess the next time I see you it will be Vlogmas in December because I'm not going to be like even though I will upload stuff in November but I've already like 
pre-edited those Europe trips and, oh, Europe vlog, sorry, and I have already, like, uploaded them, so they're scheduled and ready to go. So, the next time that you see me in, like, real time will be for Vlogmas in December, so get ready for that. I am super excited, so I hope you guys are as well. It's one of my favourite things about YouTube is Vlogmas, so I cannot wait. But anyway, enough of that, I need to go <laughs> and go and edit this video so it can be up for Tuesday. So yeah, once again, thank you guys for watching Wogaween this year. Happy Halloween, I hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you all very soon for the start of the Europe trip vlog, so I will see you guys then. Alright, bye guys.